Hey, welcome back guys to another full Platinum walkthrough. So there's been quite a few on this one, um, but I've made my own one here with sort of my own perspective on it. I do this in about 30 minutes, but I've planned this in a way so you can actually pop all the trophies within about six minutes. So um, at the moment with this, I got the, I've got the record on the PSM Profiles leaderboard. So a bit of a challenge for you if you want. I mean, it's not really any points, completely up to you. But if you follow me here and just practice it a bit, you can try to beat me on the um, try to beat me on the leaderboard if you want. Like I say I'm currently number one. I complete. I got all trophies in five minutes forty eight. But I'll leave it up to you. But what I'm going to be doing here, guys, I'm going to be explaining everything for you here. The whole platinum. Like I said, there's a few guides on this already, but they get you doing a few things you don't need to do. Um, I've done a bit of testing with. I think I've platinumed. Plat. I've sorry. I've popped platinum about. Four right, times man. while Ready testing this. So things you don't need, which other guys say you do. So I've saved you about five or ten minutes there. Yeah, so things you don't need, and all I'm doing to begin with, guys, I skip that first cutscene. You come in here, open this door, and then you go and grab your hardware. You yeah, grab your hardware, and then you have to give five to the hologram, and then open the door behind it by signing in, and then you go into like a tram. Yeah, things you don't need is all the other guys out there have you opening. The game, the game refers to, the way it works is so like there's holograms, like humanoid holograms, and they've got like data around them which you have to interact with, and the data around them which is sort of like floating, sort of like a minority port sort of thing, they're sort of floating and the game refers to them as desktops, but it's also, the game actually has like actual desktops, but it actually it refers to them as workstations, yeah not desktops, the desktops are which the yes. humanoids Before. have floating in the air and you have Before to use you have to profile, interact with them. But the actual workstations like the tables which you can open up, they're what all the other guys have you interacting with interacting with. But you do not need to touch them. I did a bit of testing to figure it out you do not need to touch them. And there's a few other panels around the game which you can open. You don't need to touch them either. Even though other guys advise you to well instruct you to, you don't have to. Everything I'm showing you here, guys, is the absolute minimum you need to do for the trophies. Anything else, then it's wasted. It's not necessary. It's just a waste of time, Thank pretty you. much. Welcome aboard. Um, but yeah, you're going to sign in, guys. Going to walk you through everything. While pretty much for platinum. Most of trophies pop at the end after completing the game, assuming you fulfill the requirements. Yeah, assuming you fulfill the requirements. Um, but if you don't pop trophies at the end, you can actually reload your spawn at the end of the game. The game just auto save, but it's only one save slot. So you can just get any trophies you missed. But yeah, just going to come straight through here, guys. I'm in control now. Just floating through here, and you're going to go into personnel on the right here. Press R2. You normally use use the command to use R2. Obviously, I'm playing this on PS4. Use R2, um, square. You can press circle to crouch, but you never really need to crouch. And obviously, you've got your analog sticks to move around and move the camera. So, yeah, come down these lifts. Yeah, so we're going down, in, like I say, into personnel. And that, them modules we just went through before we came down this lift, that's a sort of station hub. That's a hub area where you access all the different um, areas in the game from. Yeah, so come down here and interact with this red square to place your data device. Just press R2 twice and you'll open it up and there you go. You'll place your data device. Right, and then you want to come into administration on the right. Come into the conference room. Now, whatever you do, do not look right. Don't look far to the right. There's a cat in the corner. We do not want to look at it yet. Yeah, so press square in this room to um, activate the timeline to restore the data. And then fast forward the timeline until this guy's data appears. And then retrieve all his memories, all his, um, all his logs. And then the code for that door, guys, is 1228. You have to put in all the, all the codes on the doors for a trophy and open the key locks as well. So 1228, and all you're basically doing a lot, you're moving the timeline, opening up the data, and then you have to open up all the sort of messages within each humanoid, each hologram's data. And then we went down the slope, picked up the M, put the M on the wall, put the O on the wall, took off the E and re-slotted it so it's straight. Go in the lavatory, take the O, 
and place your O on the wall. All that's left is the E. We'll leave the E on the floor until later. Like I say, we're trying to pop all the trophies within about five minutes of each other. Come into this room, press square to recover the memory or the data. There you go. Once you recover that data, just come back out. Nothing else you need to do in there. Sometimes you have to get the data from the hologram, sometimes you don't. Right, come here. We wind or fast forward to make the yellow um, box appear. And then retrieve all the data from him, like so. Any data which already open or active, you don't need to. Just the ones which are not been restored yet. And then we fast forward to the red one. And then restore all that data. And then fast forward until the blue one. Restore that data. Restore all three. There you go. That's it. Now fast forward to the end of the timeline. That's it. Once you're at the end of the timeline, come out. That's it. Now we're going to go into operations. You don't have to fast forward to the end every timeline. It's mainly just sort of the main timeline in each area that you have to fast forward to the end. Right, in operations, come into cargo. Press square to recover the crew records. That's it. Once you've got the timeline active, fast forward until the red one, sorry, the orange one appears. Restore the data and then restore all the logs within it. There you go. Press circle. Yeah, just press circle to back out from a record quickly. Come out. Go into laundry. Now look at the cat on this vent. There you go. All you have to do is hover your reticle above it, sort of over it, until you see the house cat text appear on screen. That's all you need to do. Right, come to the fitness center next. For a full ride. Make sure the green record is active and then restore it and then restore all three logs. And then fast forward to make the blue record appear here. Restore the data. Nicholas. And then restore the three logs with inside it. Like I say, you do not. That message log there, for example, is already open. You don't need to restore that, obviously. It's already restored. Right, come to lock room and then into the shower. shower. Into the shower, press square to recover this data. Don't worry, you're not going to see any naughty bits. Kids are allowed. Right, and um, once we saw the data, we store her desktop and then we store all four. That's it. I think, was it her or was it he? Right, come out here. Yeah, I got a bit confused there. Sorry. Looking down at my text because we need a code for this bit. I was looking at the codes. Yeah, come into lock room. Interact with this code, this locker, guys. And for this locker, you want to put in the code 0315. Yeah, 0315. And for this locker, 1407. 1407. Open this one up and take the key from the side. I see, see the key on the bottom left. I'm holding it. And then come down here, guys. Turn right. And then rewind or fast forward the timeline to make the yellow guy appear here. And then restore his desktop. And then uh, restore his um, data. That's it, like so. And then come up here, guys. Into personal quarters for Clive. Restore the data here, and while the data is restoring, use the key to unlock this drawer beneath his bed. That's it. Make sure the drawer opens. No, just... And once you restore the data, restore his desktop, know... and then retrieve all of his logs, I mean, like so. You know that's it. Press circle to back out. You don't need to read them, just restore them, that's it. Press circle to back out. That's it. Then back out here, and then go back to the central corridor, guys, where you first came down. Make sure you fast forward the timeline to the end. I'm just doing it now so I forgot. Yeah, fast forward it to the end. There you go. Then come outside and it should be at 100% now. You find sometimes if it's not 100% when you come to um, take your data back, sometimes it's because you didn't fast forward the timeline enough. Just go back and make sure the timeline is at the end in one of them areas. Right, once you've got your data, go back up the lift, guys, and back to the station hub. Them sort of message message prompts you get an appeal on the screen like that one now don't worry we're going to read them later they are messages in your inventory which you access by pressing the touchpad but it's going to wait until we've got them all later and then read them all at once you do have to read all them to pop a trophy oh yeah did i say i've got a text guide for this as well yeah if you check in the description you'll find a link to the text guide i forgot to mention that didn't i so what i'll do i'll probably have to put, just put some text on screen at the start just to let you guys know there's also a text guide going along with this. Right, so next we're going to go into um, observation. Just on the left when you come out. It should be on the left. Or it might be the right, it depends. And um, in here, press square to recover the data. That's all you need to do. Recover the data in observation module. 
Right, then turn around and go into biomedical, guys. That's it, get straight into biomedical. Down the lift. Yeah, so once you come into biomedical, you're going to place a data access device where you're going to place, you're going to interact with the AI data access device and attach your data transfer device. Yeah, then you're going to go right into Botani. Botany, is it right or is it left? I think it's, I'm pretty sure it's right where we go. Yeah, it looks like a DS. Oh, sorry, left. <laughs> Go left into Botani. Oh, I, I did right left here, actually. I can't even read my text. Yeah, come up here and press square. Well, just before you go up the ramp, press square to recover that data, guys, in the main part of the room. Yeah, once you recover the data, come up the ramp, open this door, and then recover this data inside. Press square. That's it. Once you recovered it... Okay, Odin. Yeah, restore Ready? the um, data and then restore all four side. logs. That's it. Then turn around and go back down. You have to restore. I, I've tried to get the trophies without restoring all logs. It won't pop the trophies. You have to restore them logs. Right, come down here. Fast forward it to make the purple data appear. Restore it and then restore all three logs. Yep. And then fast forward it to make the blue data appear on the blue on the blue hologram. In and that'll be in here. Yeah, come into food supply. That's it. Restore that. All it is is a picture. That's all you need to do. Restore it so you see the picture, then back out. Here's your second house cat. Again, just hover your red call over it so the text appears saying house cat. That's all you need to do. Right, come out here, go into the middle, which is irrigation. Come down the ramp. And the code for this guy is just 0281. 0281. That's it. And then fast forward it to make the green box appear on the green guy. We store his data and then we store all four logs. That's it. That's all you need to do here, guys. Now go back out, go back into the central corridor, and then we're going to go across the medical. Yeah, fast forward the data to the end. Remember, fast forward the timeline to the end. Do not forget that before you leave. Right, yeah, go straight across the medical. Right, in medical, restore the data when you first enter. Then go left into personal quarters. Yeah, once you come down here, restore the data, press square. Right, and then restore, yeah, then restore the, restore the um, desktop and then restore all the three logs. That's it. And then back out and go back to the main room. Back in the main room, go into medical storage ahead and pick up this cap. Yeah, pick up that cap just there down the side of the desk. Then change your timeline. Fast forward the timeline so the red box appears and restore his desktop. Then restore all three logs for him or her. Yeah, sorry, her, it's Natalie. I think so. Yeah, then you want to come in here, exam facilities, place a cap on this bed ready for later. Let's fast forward it or rewind to make the blue box appear. Then restore the blue desktop and also restore the three logs for it. Right, then turn around, come into the medical office. The medical office, come into this drawer in the corner and take the key from inside. Yes, yeah, take the key from inside the drawer. Right, then we're going to go back into. Um, we can come back into the main room, fast forward it to make the green guy appear from here. Yep, and then restore his desktop and restore all four logs. Right, and make sure you've still got a key on you, guys, to the supply locker. Then come back into medical storage and open this locker in the corner. You insert the key, and then once the door is opened, you want to grab this school on the bottom, on the sort of middle shelf in the corner. Yep, grab that school from there. Right, then you want to go back into exam facilities. 
go into imaging over here and the third house cat just down there there you go just hover your reticle over it yeah third house cat then come in here open the door and place a skull on the skeleton then come over to this keypad guys and you want to input the code um, 2080 yeah 2080 put that code on that keypad and then once you have locked it fast forward the timeline and then come outside back to the central corridor guys and take your data device back yeah put your, put your um, Nintendo DS back in your pocket and then go back up the lift guys back to station hub that's two or three areas done guys that's how short this game is two or three and this next area is probably the quickest actually yeah so back up to station hub and I'm going to go to the next module which is engineering and then go down the lift and enter engineering guys that's only there's only about I think about five trophies um, which you pop you can sort of pop them um, as soon as you fulfill the requirement and um, the other sort of six or so you have to fulfill the requirement and then complete the game to pop the trophy yeah so down into engineering guys Yeah, so once you get down here, guys, you're going to place the um, Nintendo, DS, Nintendo DS on the charging slot on the wall again. And we're going to go right into mechanical engineering. You can't go on the door on the left yet because it's locked from the other side. Yeah, so as always, interrupt the point in the middle when you first come down. There you go, yeah, so go into the door on the right guys, mechanical engineering. When you first enter, press square to recover the AR data. Yeah, press square when you first enter to get the crew record. Right, and then fast forward the timeline to reveal the red and the blue data on the bottom. Yeah, fast forward the timeline a little bit, like so. I see it and do the, do the blue data first, and um, recover it, and then restore the three logs. That's it. And then turn around and go into power cell access. Look up on the power cells and you should see the fourth house cat. Yep, yeah, once you looked at the house cat and hovered and its names appeared. Come over here guys and um, go into personal quarters. Come into this room and restore the data. Press square. And then go over to the hologram. Restore the desktop and then restore all three logs. All right. Like so. Go back into the main room next, and then go up up the ramp into the drone bay, and then make sure you fast forwarded or rewinded the timeline so the red desktop becomes available, like so. And then restore the desktop and restore all three logs. All right, where's the code for this one? Yeah, the code for this, guys. So fast forward the timeline a little bit. Yeah, it's 0809. Yes, 0809. And then as you come along this corridor, this is called maintenance this corridor, hold fast forward to um, finish the timeline. And then once you get here, look up at this vent. You see the exit door above. Now there's a small ring there. Can you see that ring? When you hover above it, you'll see that text. Maybe I should take this. Yeah, take that ring. That actually gets you trophy once you complete the game. Yes, yeah, so make sure you take that gold ring. And then keep following the path and restore this data when you reach it. Just press square to recover it. No need to restore any desktop or anything afterwards. Yeah, just recover the data. And keep coming along until you get into um, network technology. Once here, go right up the ramp. Ignore that first room and then go right again going to um, the network specialist office once coming here press square to recover the data and then we store the desktop that appears and then we store all the logs inside it yeah so we recover hey the data um, we store the desktop I'm Nat. Pleased to meet you. and then we store the four logs Hello, I am Odin 
I look forward to working together. Yep, then go back out to the main room. Same here, mate. Once back outside, go left. We cover this data with square. That's it. And then while it's restoring, look up. And just in that corner near the window, there'll actually be a cat there which should appear. Odin, is this there it is. House cat. That, is that should be house cat number five of seven. And as you come along here, just fast forward the timeline just to finish it. That's it. Come in here. This is a commun communication center. Press square, guys, to recover this data. And once it's recovered, come in this back room and press R2 on the Odin interface to activate it. There you go. Activate the Odin wetware. Then come back in here and fast forward the timeline. Once fast forwarded, now you just got to wait for the Odin wetware to activate and this console should appear in the middle, assuming you've fast forwarded the timeline as well. Now the code for this guys is 0451. 0451. That's it. 0451. Then you can take this and pretty much with this you can complete the game. Yeah, take that out. And then once you're taking this out, guys, all we're doing now, we're going to go back up to the station hub. Just probably got about one more one more minute's work in station hub. And then we're pretty much ready to complete the game. Then we're just going to go and pop, start popping all the trophies. Yeah, like I say, I popped... I think the, the record was 6 minutes 58. Um, I've managed to do it in 5 minutes 48. Uh, but this game can crash by the way, so just be wary of that. I think if a game crashes, you're going to lose some minutes. Yeah, once back in, make sure you take the data device back. Data software slash Nintendo DS. Yeah, take that back, guys, and then head up to Station Hub. It all seems to, luckily, it's only crashed on me before I popped any trophies. So if you're following the same actions as me, if it does crash for you, hopefully it's before you've popped any trophies. So it shouldn't run into, it shouldn't affect your time too much. But it always, it's crashed me three times now in exactly the same place. And it's always once I go back to personnel in probably the next few minutes. The next few minutes I'll go back into personnel and you'll see it crash for me. And it's literally popped there, same place about three times. But luckily I've not popped any trophies, you know, before the crash. Right, so back up here guys. Now once back in here you want to press square to recover the data. Yep, and then come over towards the docking door while it's recovering the data. He's still waking up. Yep, then fast forward it to make the red desktop appear near the door. And then restore all four logs. Like so. Then come back over here, nearer engineering. Fast forward it to make the yellow desktop appear. Recover it and then restore all three logs. And then with it on the yellow timeline, on the yellow desktop, this cat should appear. You see that house cat with the um, that purple hologram is holding it. That would be house cat number six. Just to make sure you hover the reticle over it. And then get the blue desktop, guys, by advancing the timeline a bit more. That's it. Restore the blue one and restore all the logs with inside it. That's it. That's all the logs restored. So what we've got to do now, guys, is stop, uh, start popping the trophies. So yeah, come over to personnel guys and go down. Yep, it's going to crash in a second. Wait for it. Like I say, it always crashes here. And there we go, it's crashed. I don't know why it happens. But luckily it's before any trophies popped. Yeah, so I guess it's a good idea that I left that trophy to the first one. You know, the one down in personnel. But yeah, but it crashes. The game does load up pretty quick. Like I say, it just takes like a minute to load back in. And it, it auto saves quite, the auto saves are quite generous. I'm in that one. Um, it's, it's born me literally just outside the personnel room, so I can just jump back straight into the lift. But you ever, if you ever find a key item disappears, like soon we're going to be picking up that skull from earlier and the cap. If anything ever happens and they disappear, just quit the game, just close the app quickly, and then reload it, and hopefully you will spawn back in and they'll be in your hand still. Yep, so back here, I'm just gonna interact and come back into personnel. So what we're gonna do here now, 
it's um, we're going to complete that uh, anagram. Well, not it's not even an anagram. The the um, title on the wall, the other lessons title for Tacoma Bay or Tacoma Crew. We're just going to put the E on it. That proper trophy, spell check trophy. And I'm going to get that final house cat, which we left down here. I left it down here just because I wanted the last house cat be to be near another trophy. You know, it just saves a bit of time. Yeah, so we're going to come in here first, guys. We're actually going to go into operations first and into the fitness center because there's a trophy here. You have to beat up the punch bag. Yeah, just so come over to this weird looking punch bag in the corner. Square punch bag. Yeah, that's it. Give it a few punches, like a one two or one two. That's it. You get a trophy punch out. I think that's my exercise done for the year. Yeah, once you've got a trophy, guys, the so first trophy now. If, you, if you're going for a fast time on leaderboards, now is where things are getting very... Now is where the pressure is going to set in. So come to conference room, and there it is, the final cat, which we left from earlier. As long as you've got every cat, you should get a trophy cat sitter. If you miss anything, look at my text guide, and everything is uh, in there, guys. Now pick up the E and place it in the crew word to finish that, and get a trophy spell check. If you didn't get a spell check, then obviously you spelt it wrong, or you miss a letter. But following me, that should be the only letter remaining. Right, now back here and go back up to Station Hub. What we've got to do now is go back to, go down to Biomedical. And that's sort of the last area we have to go to. Just get another trophy. Before we can just finish off in the Station Hub and then go back to where we started, guys, and finish the game. So yeah, back up here. Now we're going to go back down into Biomedical. I'm going to go over to our skeleton. Yeah, so biomedical guys go straight down into the lift. No more crashes, just that one going down into personnel. I think every time, every Platinum has crashed. I can't remember where it crashed the first time for me. Maybe that's personnel as well. But yeah, down into Biomedical guys, you want to go into, um, what's the name of the place again? Yeah, go into Medical on the right. Yeah, go into Medical, you want to go right again into Exam Facilities. And then go straight off to the school. You have to, for some reason, the prompt doesn't work, so you have to take the score head off and put it back on. Take it off and put it back again, like so. Then pick up the cap which you dropped on the bed, hopefully, and then place it on the school for a trophy, Skeletina. And then pick up the school now. I forgot it. Yeah, that's it. Make sure it's with you. Do not drop this, guys. You need to take it back with you to Station Hub. Yeah, be very, very careful. Tr make sure, yeah, the thing is, the button to interact with something is the same button that you press to drop things. That's a problem. So make sure you, when you interact with this lift, make sure the reticle is on it. And when you press R2, it's going to activate the lift. You do not want to throw down the skull by mistake. That's it. Right, now if you want to, you can press the touchpad and look at all your emails. You'll, you'll have eight at this point. You don't have to take time to read them all. Just make sure each one has been fully unlocked like there's no more text unlocking on it and then just quickly skip through them all like so right back into biomedical you're going to pick up the school guys and you're going to lob it through the basket you're going to use a blue basket sometimes it don't work on the orange one i think because you're the blue team yeah so lob the school in the blue basket you can actually go up to it and dunk it if you want but it's actually trying to pop two trophies at once here it don't quite work that's it you'll get that casket ball but yeah, you also need to get the basketball as well Yeah, I thought it was going to pop the trophy because the music was playing, but it didn't. Yeah, so grab the basketball, and what you need to do, you need to, um, you want to, you can toggle the three-point toggle on the wall like I have already, and you can see where you basically have score basket from outside the three-point area. That's it. Score basket. It's got to be with the basketball from outside the three-point area. Try to use a blue ring. That's it. You can sometimes get that trophy 
from actually dunking it. It's a little bit glitchy. Um, but yeah, that's how you do it. And then come into cryogenics. From the basketball area, you want to go into cryogenics on the right. And you want to activate this sanitizing bot and the cleaning bot. And then pick it up and then bring it over to the other one. Put them together and you've got a trophy, guys. Therefore, our throw. Bit of an Easter egg on Romeo and Juliet. And that's it. That's all the Mystic Trophies. All we've got to do now, guys, is complete the game. And assuming you've done all the collectibles and whatnot, you'll pop everything once you've completed the game. Which is, I think, how many trophies? I think, yeah, the final six trophies. Right, you'll find the final audio log. Well, not the final log, but the final email of yours as you come over here. So back towards here. You'll see it pop up on screen in a minute. There you go. Open the airlock. I'm just going to open up the inventory just so the text starts ticking down on the log. Yeah, see, it's, it's slowly ticking down. It has to be fully unlocked. Okay. And then interact with this wooden panel, the slot on it, to start interacting, to start slotting in the Odin wetware, guys. There it is. See me slotting in this sort of hard drive looking thing. I've got my inventory open because I need to, um, you need to examine that email as well. Make sure it's fully unlocked. That's it. And just go through all the emails again just to be safe. Because one time I went through them all and it didn't pop for me. That's it. And then come over here, guys. Begin the launch sequence and that should pop all the trophies. Like I say, if you missed any, just continue game and that will spawn you back near the cockpit. And you can go back and get any. And that's it, guys. That's all the trophies in Tacoma in 30 minutes and now to pop more than five minutes if you want to so yeah i'll leave it there for long guys thank you for watching and i see you on the next video